Welcome to what? You to the beginning of this movie night. This is a very special movie night. So much so that we're not actually filming it today. This is Wednesday. We're gonna go see this week either Angry Guys or Nice Birds. That's, oh. that's right, right? We're gonna do a double feature, um, but we're not all going to see both movies. We're gonna do where we draw straws. Whoever gets the two short straws this have to like go Vincent's. see Angry Birds. Who wants to go see what? First off, I want to see. Does anybody actually want to see Angry Birds? I over Nice Guys. I think you're okay. So over Nice Guys. Well, I wouldn't mind. Okay, so you yeah. three are actually for Angry Birds. You guys are wearing the same shirt. So who wants to draw first? Spencer's reaching. <laughs> Spencer's six. Spencer's six. Spencer's six. So hopefully he's better. Ooh. And don't touch all the ones you're not going to touch. There's only one green. Jesus. I'm, I'm <laughs> tightly gripping these so Jordan can't get his. No, we're going to compare them all, and the two shortest have to go see. They're off by hey, millimeters. Hey, Jordan, how long is your straw? Infected. You got you to take it. I can't. Hey, you motherfucker. Uh, don't take them all. How do I take it? Ew. You know, you're, 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 no, you don't grip it. You have to let some. Hellboy is oh, okay. shocked. Oh. Take me right, Joseph. on. Take whichever Stop one. Stop comparing. These all look the same. Can I just say, you son of a bitch, because I have the shortest straw. Oh, I think I'm going to Angry Birds. I don't know, I don't know. I think there is one shorter than yours. Wait. Oh my fucking god! Are you kidding me? Jordan and I are going to see Angry Birds! I'll trade. Wait, you see? sons of bitches. It's those shirts. Wait, it's You can't trade. The a straws have spoken. Oh, Achievement unlocked. Is Jordan's also wearing a green shirt in this video he's editing right now. Oh my god, hey, this is fucking meta. Oh. Hey, stop throwing straws. Was so he great. thought it was one of you guys. Get back to work. We don't get to see the movies for another two days. The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt Blood and Wine Expansion Pack available now. No, or... it's not. It's coming in about a week. Uh, okay, well, anyway. I'm pretty excited about it. Well, we're running slightly hey, late. What I'm not, not really. excited for. What? See the Angry Birds movie. Angry Birds. Angry Birds. So I was, I was at home. Yeah. One. We had to wake up super early for this because yep. it's 8.50 right now. Yep. I'm usually just finishing my workout right now, so mm. I had to go to my workout an hour early just oh, because I'm, of this. I'm so thing. sorry, Jordan. I mean, that's that's just the worst thing ever, isn't so, it? No, I saw a trailer, like, seriously back-to-back. -back. Nice guys and an angry bird. Nice guys was doing this, like, oh, what's... You're, what are you gonna say when you don't go to see nice guys this weekend? Then it had Russell Crowe, like, beating up Ryan Gosling. <laughs> uh, and then the angry birds thing came on, and it's like, Better than the Lego movie. <laughs> or, no, sorry, it's a this year's Lego movie. Oh. So, I guess we'll see. Who's excited for nice guys? Oh, I see shit. this happy camper here. Well, this movie has a 91% on Rotten Tomatoes. That's a good sign. I hope it's good. Angry Birds I, I, had a 53. I think, do you think that Russell Crowe's gonna have a big jacket that's full of a bunch of telephones that he just throws at people? Oh no, that's such an old reference. I kind of want to just get this over with. Well, that's what we're doing right now. But it's so. it's it's a fun time at the movies. That's all I really care about. I don't really think it's going to be because it's just going to be... Oh! It's just going to be a theater full of a bunch of parents slash grandparents taking their kids to see this. And then there's going to be a few weird single people that are going to be there. Yeah. Um, and then us. And then us. So, I mean... It's gonna be it's gonna be horrible. Well, we don't have enough space in all of our cars for all of us to fit, so I believe I'm taking my car. And what are you guys doing? I'm not driving. Through. Okay. I think we'll be the only people in the theater there who who want to be watching Nice Guys <laughs> at the same like yes. at that moment. Well, I don't know. Some of the parents might be, but yeah. who knows? We may be pleasantly surprised, Dan. Yeah. I have played Angry Birds a few times in my life. Mm. Not a whole lot, but I've played you know the original. I played the jungle one um, that has the toucan that goes around and swings back. Yeah. And then I've played the space one a few times. So. Space one's good. Space How about Star Wars? You never played Star Wars? Oh, yeah, I did play the Star Wars one. That's right. So you played a bunch of Angry Birds, I've it sounds played, like. Well, I played a little bit of each of them, not really, you know. I'm sick still. Very sick, actually. So I might just take a little cat nap during the movie. You know what's happening here? These the children's going to school? Go see Angry Birds! Rum, rum. I feel kind of weird filming children. Look at the sky. Not a cloud in it. Yeah, Alex was asking me the menu because he hasn't been to the AMC in a while. Oh, it's just garbage. Yeah. It's complete garbage. Yeah, I was like, there's pretzels. He's like, are there hot dogs? I was like, yes. I don't know. 
There are, but you don't want to touch those hot dogs. Hot dogs. Double feature movie night. That's surprising. I, I, I It's going to be weird because I still am going to go see the nice guys at some point, And we're going to be reviewing together with nice guys and Angry Birds at the same time. So we might get some spoilers. I'm going to spoil the hell out of Angry Birds for it. <laughs> Yeah, that's what well, they get. They're for actually nice excited guys. for Angry Birds. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Why the it. hell were they excited for Angry Birds? Oh. Why did they not want to go see Nice Guys? What you, Doctor the Straws? I don't know. I should have. I I just think it's hilarious that the two people who didn't want to go, like, it would seem like it might be potentially rigged, but it really wasn't. I really wanted to see Angry. Oh no, Angry, Nice Guys. Angry Nice Guys. Angry Nice Guys. All right, I have uh, night vision on since it's nighttime. We're getting we're getting close to the theater. I hope the bar's open. I doubt they At are. Nine o'clock in the morning. I think I've seen it roped it. off before, so I think it's probably closed. And yeah, it's uh, nine o'clock in the morning too. Should have brought our own liquor. <laughs> Got plenty in the office, I think. I think we have some vodka. Should have grabbed there. a bottle of vodka and just started <laughs> grab, pounding it back. Grab a old school Twitch flask and yeah, uh, yeah. just try to try to get through the movie in one piece. So this takes place in the seventies. This movie. Yeah. Okay, I thought it was modern day, and they just dressed like, like you know, they were having like a midlife crisis. Like it's stylized choice. Yeah, right. maybe it's time travel movie. This is gonna be an experience. This is the first time we've been to the AMC in a while too. Yeah, it's been pretty strictly Alamo. I mean, Alamo's first preference, AMC's secondary, just in case the Alamo wasn't playing it. And luckily, I think a couple of the times where I wasn't sure if the Alamo was playing, they ended up throwing up a Thursday. I don't, I don't mind. I don't mind going to the AMC though. Yeah. Like, because sometimes the Alamo just gets too much with all the running people and you know. Oh look, yeah. The skyline. Ooh. No, you missed it. It's long oh. past. I thought you meant Skyline. Like, oh, no, look I at meant the like a Nissan, a Nissan Skyline GTR. I don't know what the hell that it's is. It's a really. Yeah, I thought they were just like in some part of like some part of Hollywood or LA where it was just still like the cars were still kind of stuck in that era, and so were their hairdos and their facial hair. Boy, I'm oh. supposed to get in the Isaiah time machine. <laughs> Shoot, I was supposed to be in that lane. There's a shot of Ryan Gosling in an episode of Goosebumps, surrounded by a bunch of geese. Really? Yeah. So it's like a triple threat. <laughs> There's six people <laughs> parked in the parking lot over here. Never in my life have I seen it this empty. Six, before. and there's like two over there. <laughs> And there's one guy thinking about going, but then he's like, there's nobody See, here. that's going to be that creepy guy. That's there's going to be nobody the in the Angry Birds showing. I hope there's nobody and we can just shit on the movie no, the entire there's time. Not. There's going to be people. Are you I'm sure? Me, there's going to be people. You think it's that There's going to be at least one grandparent that has two or three kids with them. Oh it's like goodness. their parents are like, I go to work today. And then the poor grandparent gets stuck with a bunch of bratty kids. It's like, what else can I do to keep these bratty kids occupied? I'm going to take them to the Angry Birds movie. <laughs> My bratty kids. Both of these movies have Angry Birds in them. Russell yeah. Crowe and the other Angry Birds. And actual. Well, Gosling is a, is a oh goose. Oh my God. It's a bird. Holy shit. So we're both all, no matter what you're seeing today, we're seeing Angry Birds. Well, let's go do this, Dan. Let's go watch this piece of trash. We'll let you know watch if the was open. <laughs> the bar. Why are we seeing this at 10.15? I don't know, man. That's why I'm not too psyched to see this movie. It's so fucking early. Yeah, I'm like, I don't, I'm not in movie mode. <laughs> Me either. Hey! You like movies? Because we just saw two of them. At the same time. Two different movies at the same time. Jordan, you look enthralled. I feel energized. Yeah, do you? <laughs> I, Jordan and I walked out of the theater and hardly said two words to each other. The bar was closed, so we had to go in there, and there's about four or five groups of family members. Like, there was just like... Yeah, it was kids, like old people. 60 kids in one set. Jordan called it. He was going to say it's because some grandparents bringing their kids. Yep, yep. I forgot it was summertime, so I was I like, there's going to be nobody here. There wasn't, there wasn't a Don't touch lot. this camera. I mean, it's easier for me. But yeah, after watching the movie, you know, I mean, I had no expectations. I mean, I, I laughed a few times. How was Peter Dinklage? He was the eagle. Didn't he piss in a pond or something? Yeah, yeah it was just weird. Was I'd say he was one of the movie, highlights. Yeah, the, the whole movie was like, I, I just didn't enjoy it that much. There's a few parts that made me laugh, obviously, because um, they did have some good humor. But a lot of the humor is just really weird and kind Very of... Very random. Weird. Um, Lots they, of random music cues. They yeah. had Behind Blue Eyes play at one point. The, 
Limp Bizkit. The Limp Bizkit version. <laughs> yeah. When it didn't make sense. I mean, the song's context made sense, but behind blue eyes, he has, like, orange eyes. So I didn't understand why they kept playing that song outside of he was having a miserable time. Perhaps they didn't know what they were doing. It looked really good. Oh, yeah, the animation was really good. It was, yeah, spot on. Um, I was really disappointed because the, the appearance by Steve Aoki... Or uh, Steve, Steve Aoinki, I should say. Aoinki? He was on the ah. they were handing out the they were handing out the things that said Steve Aoinki on there, but And it also said Daft Pig, but yeah. Daft Pig but was on Daft stage. Daft Pig was the only ones that actually showed up and they didn't show Steve Daft Aoinki. Pig? So like Daft really, Punk? Yeah. yeah. Why didn't they say Daft Pork? That's better than pig. Yeah, that is better than I, pig. Yeah. I'm gonna email them. I was telling uh, Dan that I saw a commercial for it before we went that said, you know, this year's Lego movie. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Not even close. So they just had old memes in an old movie? Uh, they had a bunch of oddly placed horror movie references. They had, they a, had a uh, they had a Shining reference with the the twins. They had um, a They Live reference with a poster in the back. It says Oh, really? oh Hey as opposed to Obey, oh, and had like That's a picture. I didn't quite get it though. Are like why? Get this? Oh hey. It was just, yeah, it was just weird. Highlights. Weird, weird experience. Highlights. Uh, highlights was Terrence. Terrence was, was good. Really big, you know, the big red bird. Really the, fat one that you launch. Really one. So there's a really big red bird, and he's pretty funny. Who did his voice? No, it, 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 it was just matter. grunts and shit. Was he was just like, like Ugh. Mighty Eagle. That Mighty that Eagle. he had a couple good highlights. The animation, the the two D animation they had with uh, Mighty oh, Eagle yeah, was, was probably the best part of the movie. They they had a lot of like. Yeah, they, they... Little vignettes. Yeah, it was just... It was a so bunch of random jokes strung together by a very loose plot, a.k.a. a perfect children's movie. Mighty Eagle is the, is the in-app purchase, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. he'll swoop, he'll swoop through or whatever. Yeah. yeah, so... He was pretty good. What does he like? <laughs> oh, they, they had, there was a whole sequence where they were trying to mimic his war cry. Oh, that, was pretty oh, funny. that was a funny and scene. there's a time-lapse shot that was really funny, too. So for attempting to make a movie from Angry Birds, do you think they did a good job? Oh, it's, you know, it's I mean, it, five out of ten. It follows, it like follows, uh, he's saying, does it do well to adapt the game? Yeah. I think it adapts the game very About well. As much oh, as you can. Good. I mean, it, it like doesn't stray from the lore. They had a Quicksilver moment. Oh, yeah, they literally ripped off Quicksilver from X-Men. Yeah. Um, it, it was a Quicksilver scene. It was yeah. exactly like it. Josh Gad was really weird. It's weird seeing him in any animated movie after Frozen he's because he's he Olaf. He Olaf. Yeah. And, but this time it was like... Uh, he was, fast Olaf. He was fast and then... He, but he sang and it was like... Sang, ah! was like and I was like, voice. in summer. I remember him from... What's that one where they have to have a party? And uh, they end up getting in a car... <laughs> And they, like they go down a hill. <laughs> they, go to, they, they get in the car going on. Did any of the birds have ankle guns? No. Because ours did. No. Let me ask you this. I know this was about birds and stuff. How many breasts were in your movie? Oh. Because there oh. were a lot. <laughs> really? and we had a crow and a gosling. Oh. And, uh, <laughs> that's a lot of birds right there. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't even think about the that. Birds. That's hilarious. Nice bird. Yeah, we both saw Angry Birds, really, technically. Yeah, yeah. That's well, French. That, that sounded like a really bad movie. Uh, I'm actually <laughs> glad we didn't uh, draw the straws to go see that. We yeah, despite you out. three being the ones who were indifferent about going to <laughs> see we Angry were, Birds. Going into this movie, we were like, ah, oh, I don't know, it's so early, but it's such a good screenplay. It won yeah. And, like, the performances are so good. Um, and... I'm gonna go see it either way. I'm gonna go see it either way. It is so fun to watch, and like yeah. Shane Black is so good. At, and it, even though he was a co-writer on this, he didn't write the whole thing. Yeah. Um, but he's so good at constructing like an old LA mystery. Yeah. While also making it a buddy cop movie at the same time. They had an Iron Man. They had the Iron Man three kid in it. Oh, did they? Uh, uh, Ty Simmons. Oh, yeah. Uh, Ty Simmons. Hey, that I thought that was well, what's wrong with that kid? Did you say fuck that kid? He was yeah, that great. Fuck that he, kid. he ruined uh, Jurassic World. He was great in uh, Iron Man 3. He, yeah, he, he did. sucked in Iron him? Man 3. And no, he, he sucked didn't. in Jurassic World. Oh, he was a highlight in Iron Man 3. He was a kid. Well, he was asleep in Insidious the entire time. Dalton? Dalton. <laughs> Foster? He was awesome. <laughs> Dalton. Foster was his brother. We discussed this yesterday. <laughs> it was a feast. There was just a lot going on. I was telling him they just covered a lot of ground, like... I felt like tired because they were just running around everywhere. I like I felt the stench of but LA. It's, and... But it's not like a Batman v Superman thing where they're just like plugging a bunch of no, stuff no, no, into this. It all Every, everything fits together and, and makes sense. And um, 
is substantial to the story. I was saying it reminded me of uh, Yogi and Boo Boo as detectives. Yeah. <laughs> the Arbiter's in, in it. I know the Arbiter's Keith in it. David. Oh yeah, I know. Awesome. I saw I saw that poster earlier when I was looking it up, and I was like, Keith David's in that. What would you have your Arbiter? He sounds the same. Mm -hmm. It's his voice. Yeah. I like it. What do you say? He's a you stupid motherfucker or something. But in the voice. I mean, everybody says that. Yeah, yeah, they said that a lot. But it was good. It was. Re I didn't. I didn't expect as much detective work in it. It was a very hearty clue-based detective thing. I was yeah. like, oh, when they would uncover things. I was like, that's awesome. Yeah, it was fascinating. Like, Everything connected at the end. Yeah, yeah some, some of the humor was kind of contrived. Like, I was like, uh, but I think I was just going into it like, I don't really want to see this right now. You know, you know, we almost were thinking about not going to this movie and just sneaking into Angry Birds. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> it was, oh, so I messed up. Uh, the 9 o'clock showing was actually a 3D showing, oh, so we yeah, saw it in 3D. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we. I, I I pulled up the 2D. I clicked on 2D, and it said 10 o'clock. I was like, Oh shit, Jordan! I think it's 3D. So we saw it in 3D, which wasn't bad. I thought the 3D was actually pretty good. Throw, there were some neat shots. Any birds at like? Your yeah, there was a couple points where there were some beaks in the screen. The mystery movies are such are just a masterclass in screenwriting. I because, love mysteries because the main characters are going through the plot as we are. Yeah, yeah. And we're always on the same page with them. Maybe we know a little oh. bit occasionally, yeah. but then sometimes our expectations are subverted. Yeah, whodunits and mysteries oh, are my favorite. So well. Yeah, nice job, Alex. There were the Alex the cinephile. <laughs> There's a lot of people. There's a lot there of people were, there, yeah. and they were laughing hard. That's pretty surprising, but I guess it is opening day. It was a huge yeah, theater. You guys, but I we have to go see it. It's such. A I'm, good I'm definitely I going to see it again. Actually, I can't like to see it again. I can't wait to see the Predator, the chain blacks making. Yeah, the action scenes were great. Yeah, this movie. Russell Crowe is really good. That yeah, was, and I and I was saying in the car on the way back, like. I give a lot of shit to Russell Crowe because of what he's become <laughs> as a person, um, but he is still a really good actor and how he's kind of aged into these parts appropriately. Yeah. He's never really playing parts that don't suit him. Oh, yeah. And he is fat as shit. In this <laughs> <laughs> so, there is a, there, I think one of the reviewers I watch was saying that uh, you know if it's a good Russell Crowe performance if he's fat. Yeah, the he, fatter he is, the better the performance. He, is, he has to be the fattest he's ever been in this movie. <laughs> the acting in this movie, though, is solid all around. There wasn't oh, a yeah. single scene where I was like... The girl, the daughter. Yeah, the daughter amazing. was awesome. Yeah, she, she's, she's going to go places for sure. And so many boobs. Yeah, not the daughter's boobs. So ratings? Jackie Tree. I give it a 10 out of 10. I think oh, it was a really perfect movie, movie, says Spencer. Perfect movie. That was um, solid. Give it a 9.5. Oh, Jesus. I'm going to say 9. It was just fun. Like, <laughs> you can't. It was like, fucking good. It, 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 just, it. It, it, just, just, it was really close to flawless. It was just, there was nothing yet. Even, wow. Yeah, even like, I was like, wow. these jokes, I was like, yeah. Okay, I'm regretting. I'm never doing a double movie night ever again in my life. We missed out on a ten out of ten, Jordan, for our crappy two out of ten. Spencer hates everything too. He usually gives it like six. I'll watch. Spencer is pretty picky. Like, I'll change this or that or that. I watched this movie and there was nothing I would change. That Spencer liked it more than any Marvel movie we've ever been to. I think with Marvel, Marvel movies, I want to change Man, more. <laughs> yeah. This was Marvel. But Marvel's There's more expectation. Great. Going into this, you don't have much expectation because exactly. it's like, not a... Civil War, it's huge. When I go to this, like, I didn't want to see it. And I saw it, and it was great. You know what? That's how we should watch all movies. Yeah, Ryan you you shouldn't want to see anything. What a really heartwarming good. pornographic detective story. <laughs> it was really good. What were your ratings Joking. for Angry Birds? That's what I was going to ask Jordan. I don't know, like I said, about a five. That's, I get, it's yeah. super mediocre. Oh, yeah, it has some funny parts. It's not bad, it's just weird and kid. I'd agree with that. I'd probably go it's maybe 5.5, 5, just to up you one. Yeah, well. It's a good five, kids five, movie. It's a great kids five, movie. Five. I would say it's pretty good for kids. There's nothing in there that's, you know, like, why is this in a children's movie? Outside of the weird horror movie that references. That eagle when he was dancing in those tight leather pants. Mmm. A little asterisk next to my 10 out of 10. I'm a little delirious right now. Just a little bit. So, film. Uh, no, it was a good movie, though. I mean, I, there was some scenes that they were delirious, and I was delirious. And it was a good time. He should wow, be the flaming. flaming Torch. What? Is that the Flaming Torch? Ryan Gosling. The Human Torch? Human Torch. Sorry. Wasn't he a uh, Green Lantern? 